Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 3 of May and June 2008 for A level math. Now, with that being said, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. So now we have question number one. So here we have to solve the inequality. So um, as you can see, we have modulus, but we have x on both sides. So when you have x on both sides, we have to square both sides. So square both sides is our step number one. That will be um, x minus 2 square is more than 9 2x plus 1 square. Now simplify, you will have x square minus uh, 4x plus 4 is more than 9 times 4x square plus 4x plus 1. Now let's try to simplify this over here. That will be uh, 9 times 4 is 36. This one plus 36 and plus 9. Now we can send everything to uh, to one side. You will have what? For example, uh, let me send all these to this side, <laughs> right? Or maybe that will confuse you. Let me send everything to this side as usual, right? So I don't want to confuse you guys. It's not a big difference. You will have x square minus 36 x square minus 4x minus 36 x plus 4. And then we have minus 9 is more than 0. Now we can simplify, obviously, and see what happens. So this will become minus 35x squared minus 40x. And here we have minus 5 is more than 0. Now this is negative. We can try to make this become positive by sending this, sending this to the other side. You will have 35x squared plus 40x and plus 5 is less than 0. Divide by, divide by 5 for everyone, you'll have 7x squared plus 8x plus 1 less than 0. So now we have to find the critical values of x. So take the same equation and then we have to equate to, to 0. That will be factorization over here and you will have 7x times x, 1 is 1 times 1. And to have plus 8, I have to have plus 7 plus 1, right? So x will be minus 1 over 7. x will be minus 1. Now, if you look at this using the number line, that will be minus 1. That will be minus 1 over this one. This one is positive. It will be of this shape, of course, right? This is the line of 0, and we need this to be less than 0. So below this line. So x will have to be between the value of this and this. Okay, according to your question, uh, this is your set of values for x for which this is solved. And that is your question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. So here we have to um, solve the equation correct to 3SF for the values of x, right? So here we have exponential of x plus exponential of 2x equal to exponential of 3 power x. Um, so how can we solve this? So let's see um, step by step. So um, let's send everything to one side first. Why not? You will have exponential x plus exponential 2x and minus exponential 3x is equal to 0. Now we can first factorize exponential x outside. You will have 1 plus exponential x minus exponential 2x is 0. Now the first value I can equate will be this one. So exponential x is 0. x will be ln of 0, which is not possible. So this one will not be taken as one of the answers. So we have to move on for the rest. So we have one more here, which is 1 plus exponential x minus exponential 2x is 0. Now we can rearrange. That will become exponential. 2x plus minus exponential this minus 1 is 0. Now uh, I can do something because it is kind of hard to work with this right now. Let u be exponential x. So you will have u square minus u minus 1 is 0. Now to find u, that will be plus minus, uh, I'm sorry, minus b first plus minus b square will be what? Let's see. b square will be 
1 minus 4 times a times c. Now be root of, of 5 and divide by the value of 2a. So right now we have two values. So u is 1 plus root of 5 over 2, or u will be 1 minus root of 5 over 2. Now u is actually the value of exponential x, right? This one exponential x will be 1 minus root of 5 over 2, which will be a negative value. And hence, it will not be good as well. We can check. So 1 minus root of 5 divided by 2. And ln of this value, it is not good. How about this one? x will be ln of this value. So 1 plus root of 5 divided by 2. Ln of the value. Sorry about that. Ln of the value will be 0 0.481. Correct to three significant figures. And that will be your question number two. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.